In this video we'll be making a linker script to have some more advanced control over our linker and we'll be making some print functions so we can do some more advanced printing techniques. Also just a heads up I've changed my IDE from Visual Studio to Atom. I hope that doesn't cause any confusion for anyone. Alright let's get started. So the first thing we need to do is create a new file called link.ld and this will be the linker script that we use. Now there's so many different ways that we can format this file, but the way we're going to do it is like this. We'll define the output format as binary, and we'll set the entry to our start function. Then we need to define some input files, extended program.o and kernel.o. Now we need to define our output, which is just kernel.bin. All of these need to be capitals, by the way. Now, we need to define some sections. Now, previously, we had one section which was our text section. And we define this text section here by setting it to 7E00. Now, we can do a similar thing in the linker script, but we're going to do it a little bit differently. So, to define our first section, we need to do dot equals 8000. And that'll be the entry point of our application. Well, not technically the entry point, just it's where we're going to put our kernel. So we're going to need to change this to 8000 as well in our disk read function and also increase this just a little bit so that we actually have enough sectors read when we expand our operating system. Now we can define our text section and we're going to align this by 4096 bytes uh, asterisk bracket dot text so this is just put the text section of our program basically all of our code into this block here in a 1000 aligned address and that's why this needs to be 8000 because it needs to be aligned right now we haven't got onto this yet, but we need to create a data section now we didn't need a data section because we were defining everything in code but in C, when we want to make global variables, they need to be declared in a data section. So let's make a data section. So dot data align 1000 asterisk bracket dot data. Right. Now we have two more sections, read only data and uninitialized data. So let's create those RO data, which is read only data. We'll also align this by the same amount. And our BSS. So we use BSS for our uninitialized data. BSS stands for block started by symbol. Don't ask me why it's called that, but we need to declare it as it is. We'll also align this 1000 and asterisk common, all caps, and asterisk dot BSS. So we've declared our four sections, right. Now we need to go into our compile ASM batch file and we need to change this a little bit. We're going to need to move this text into here instead of in our linker and set this to 8000. And then instead of all of these, we can just put in our link.ld file. Now, since we are outputting in the link.ld straight to kernel.bin, we don't need to copy from kernel temp to kernel bin because that's been done in the linker. Now, one thing I forgot to do is we need to put a semicolon here because we're declaring this address. Now, if we compile it and run it, we can see that nothing has changed, which means we have successfully linked it using a linker script. Hooray!